Clerkenwell is a popular area in central London, right on the edge of the city, London's busy financial district. Over the past two decades, numerous art and design companies have moved into the area, taking up residence in the region's many old warehouses. Architect Jamie Faubert is one of them. He lives and works here. Hello, welcome to my home. The Canadian-born architect bought the entire building 10 years ago. It's a six-story warehouse built on a plot of land of just 40 square meters. He's turned the two lower floors into his office. We knew the minute we saw it, it was the right building, and we, had, we just knew if we didn't take it, someone else would. The building was a kind of strange hybrid. It was as small as a house, in a way. The floor plate is quite small but it had the high ceiling spaces of a warehouse and the big windows and the loading bay doors of a warehouse. So it was this mix between the scale of a large house and all the characteristic and charm of a warehouse. The Victorian architecture should speak for itself. That was the guiding principle when Jamie Faubert and his partner Dominique Gagnon converted the top three floors into an open plan apartment. We really liked the character of the space um, and we wanted to preserve that character. So what we liked the first thing was the long stretch of curving wall with the windows it brings a lot of light. And the next thing uh, was the wooden ceiling, the old Victorian ceiling, which we preserved. And finally, the kitchen is tucked away a little bit to the side so that we wanted to be part of the living room and be able to be with our friends, but at the same time uh, be able to make a mess and be a little bit separate because we don't, didn't like the idea of having the kitchen completely visible from the living room. The furniture is custom made and carefully selected to ensure the 120 square meter apartment doesn't look overcrowded. An open fireplace dominates the living room and despite the cool materials, gives the room a cozy feeling. Swedish chairs from the 1960s are combined with self-designed steel furniture in the dining area. All the rooms, including the bedrooms and the bathrooms, feature a combination of super expensive and super basic materials. Sculpture has been a really important influence on the work of my practice. And because this was my own home, we were able to experiment with materials that would normally be used in a house designed for an, by an architect. And one of these is this raw timber, which is really the cheapest building timber you can buy. And it's about fixing it together with deep screws and waxing it and leaving it rough. Oh, hello. Hi. But the real surprise comes on the top floor. This is the architect's study. To enjoy the view of the city, they made one wall of the study entirely out of glass, which slides back easily. We slide this window right back in the summer, so the whole interior room becomes connected to the outside space. And it's amazing for barbecues and for having friends over and just sitting in the sun. It's good in the winter even, <laughs> there's no fights. And uh, the view from here is amazing. We see all these the tall buildings from the Barbican of London. This is great to see that view. It looks a bit like Tokyo to us. So. It's strange because it's not a view of London anyone's ever seen, so it's really unfamiliar. But for us, it's, it's our London. And looking over the rooftops of London is something we really love about this house. An ideal home, both for work and living, and the perfect place to retreat to, right in the heart of London. <laughs>